Psalms 1. Our thematic expression for today is Psalms 1. Psalms 1. Iconic Psalms. Iconic Psalms. Today we are dealing with, you, you know, there's what they call in, in theology the law of first mention. It is no coincidence that the book of Psalms starts off with this particular Psalm which talks about those who are blessed because they do not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. And then it goes on to say, but they meditate on the law of the Lord day and night. It somewhat gives you a picture, a mirror of what the entire book is about. And that is in as much as it's worship, in as much as it's praise, it is largely centered around the word of the Lord. Amen. Let's start off with Psalms 1. Can you please take it from the King James Version? I'm really sensing that King James anointing this morning. Psalms, Psalms 1. Psalms 1. Yeah. Verse 1. Yeah. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Yes. No standeth in the way of sinners. Yes. Nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. That's it. But his delight is in the Come on, in say the they're talking the about me now. Come on, say it one more time. They're talking about me. But his what? But his delight is in the law of the Lord. Yes. And in his law doth he meditate. Doth! <laughs> doth he meditate day and night. I, I was not going to explain. I just love the sound of it. <laughs> doth! My God. Doth he meditate on it, yeah? Day and night. Yes. And he shall be like a tree... Planted by the rivers of water <laughs> that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Yes, come on, he, say my season is coming. Say my season is coming. I might not announce it, but there will be signs. <laughs> uh, there will be signs. I might not. So far, I'm not going to take. <laughs> Go for it, Jay. His leaf also shall not wither. Yes. And whatsoever he doeth mm -hmm. shall prosper. Yes. The ungodly are not so, mm -hmm. but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, mm -hmm. nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Mm -hmm. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, mm -hmm. but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for your word. It is blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible starts off by saying, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. It's somehow in a negative, I wouldn't say tense, but it takes on a negative approach. Imagine being blessed because of what you do not do. Blessed. Because you do not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. You know what's that one? Sometimes I look at a group of friends and I say to myself, these guys are bad for each other. Who has ever, ever looked at someone and thought to themselves, these guys might be good to each other. But they're not good for each other. Come on, I'm not the only one who thinks like that. When, when, when God comes back after the fall of man, Adam begins to speak in a way that exposes that he's been speaking to someone else. Who told you you were naked? You didn't 
didn't know that. You didn't know that. You did not know that. But you were walking in the counsel of the ungodly. Basalwana, it does matter who you walk with. Can I say this again? It does matter. I always warn about day ones. But just because they were there, doesn't mean they have to be here. You see, some of you, you've come to Vitz, you found Jesus, you're in a great church, you are going back home now. There are friends waiting for you. Waiting to undermine everything that you have built. It's really about some food, you see, cow. So, what you brother, man? How to verse one? You verse one. I see this. I remember this one friend of mine who got married. And his friend said, ah, this one, I don't know what he's doing. Give him time. You know what the challenge was? He kept those friends. Unfortunately, he couldn't keep his marriage. It matters who you work with. The Bible says, do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good manners. Who have you been talking to? It's not marriage connect. But don't share your marriage stuff with people who hate your marriage. Okay, not necessarily even those who hate your marriage. People who hate marriage. They don't believe marriage is a good concept. And here you are telling them to should be. And then they'll say, prioritize your peace. <laughs> Not show me your self worth. But, but we don't prioritize it. <laughs> we get fried, eh? We. <laughs> We get fried until we are fine. And we don't go telling people around that we are being fried. They won't understand. <laughs> is that how she spoke to you? Ah, I'm fine. She would not speak to me like that. That is why you are not married. Bam Kwanaz said something very scary recently. We were at Rico and Zagiti's wedding. And he said, Ma, if you want to stay married, it must be as if we are here. Yeah, it must be like, I don't cheat up. I don't speak. No, that's true. But they, they are, you know, you know, whenever I'm facing some crisis, I've got friends, very good friends, but they don't affect me at all. If I'm going through something, we'll talk about Barcelona, Orlando Pirates, Springboks. I won't talk about what I'm going through. They will leave me with no hope, with no faith. <laughs> and not because I don't love them, or I don't feel like I can let them in. It's just that I really cannot let them in. I can't. Hey, you're buying such and such a building. They will break down every... You... <laughs> it matters who you talk to. I'm not about the cut of culture. But I do. I am part of the minimized culture. I minimize your impact in my life. I minimize your perspective in my life. I minimize your access. 
Uh, pastor, that's just, you know, what do they call it? What's the word? Not synonyms. Um, you're just using euphemistic language. But you're saying the same. No, 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 it's not. I can still have you. But just know, Uguti, on this area, you are the counsel of the ungodly. On this one, on this area, you are part of the council of the ungodly and I cannot afford to walk with you. Because the next thing I will walk and then I will stand and then I will sit. Sitting speaks of permanence. Let, let's move on to that part where it talks about the scornful. Is it verse 2 or 3? Same verse. Verse 1, let's take it up. Blessed, blessed is the man, go for it, Jay. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Yes. Nor standeth in the way of sinners. Nor standeth in the way of sinners, yeah. Nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. The scornful are some of the most dangerous people you can ever meet. The, the scornful, you can't classify them as ungodful and ungodly. Neither can you classify them as sinners. But they are scorners. They, they are mockers. What, what's, their, what's their vibe? They are negative. They will make fun of someone for losing weight. Hey, <laughs> this person is looking good. They are trimming. Born in a flat stomach yak. <laughs> they buy a car. Equal exam clean your bazaar. When did you become the credit bureau? What, what, what's the vibe? Why does why does people success offend you so much? They'll even criticize us for having a lot of weddings. Shut up, cool, la page, you see. Two in the service. When do they get time to worship? Jesus walks on water, but can he do the moonwalk on land? See, we, we see this whole thing of walking on water. But let's see how it can can it be like Michael Jackson? And you know <laughs> actually my moonwalk is better than that. It's these shoes. <laughs> if I was wearing those other formal ones, yeah. they were like yeah. yeah. The shoes. <laughs> but Pastor Lone, there are people who are contemptuous in their approach to life. They are mockers. Hey, Lena, I told 100 percent in comments. Hey, Lena, he is always praying. He's always praying. Do, do we really have, do, do you have to give away all your, you, you see, it's that type of vibe. It's, it's very subtle. It can come across as concern. But it's contempt. The Bible says you are blessed if you don't walk with ungodly people. It says you are blessed if you don't stand in the way of sinners. But I want to stop with this clubbing culture. No, Funis, you don't understand. I go there to minister. Among, they are ministering to you. The spirit of Hennessy is and Centrope, not Istrope, Centrope. Yeah. 
That, that clubbing culture must end, Bazalwan. You are confusing unbelievers. They are seeing you for like they are clapping. When they come here, you are here, Nakon. Like, <laughs> you are confusing. They don't, you know, you know what scares me the most these days? Is that when, get, when people get saved, they are finding us. With our backs lead themselves. And they think we are the standard. That is why you cannot elevate your freedoms above your surrender. What you are in control of, another will choke on. They'll say it's okay for Christians to do this. Like for instance, you, servant of the Lord, full of the blood, can do sleepovers. I don't believe you, but anyway. <laughs> Let's say you could hold yourself. I don't believe you though. This one, they think we wear diapers. We are big now. <laughs> we are big people. <laughs> and nothing happened for this. <sighs> Define nothing. <laughs> we are sleeping in separate rooms. Let's say you are able to do it. But someone gets born again. And they feel like this is the stand. This is the way to do life. And they trip because of your freedom. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't care what people think. You are a terrible Christian. Here we care what people think. There's, there's a word for it. It's called Witness. The Bible says, let your light shine before men so that what? They may see your good works and glorify your father who's in heaven. Have you ever, you know, I remember when we were still in varsity and we'd be watching uh, like, you know, football games and there'd be that one person who stands up and just blocks our view. <laughs> like, no, the shall pass. But some people, that is exactly what you are doing to them and God. They can't see God clearly because of you. But all of us are mentoring someone. The, the question is, are you a good mentor or are you a bad mentor? Blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. The one of verse 2 really blesses me. Let's look at verse 2. But his what? Is in the what? Pastor Luane, don't be a Christian who cries during worship and sleeps during the word. Just wake them up. Wake them up. Just look at, look at them. But I know Wazula Zula can tire you. It can... Wazula Zula. You know like, sometimes we even leave chairs. And I need time to sort of to just recover. Yeah. But here's what I've seen, Bazalwane. The, a healthy believer is one who wishes that I, there could be services yeah. where they just preach. Yeah. Just stop for toilet breaks. And come back in. Yeah. And they pick up another topic. Study. You see, you have to be the type of Christian who doesn't just like exhortation. Hey, your car is coming. I see your husband coming down on a rope. <laughs> I had a dream of you wearing African print. I don't know this house I'm seeing. Is this your house? You know that type of vibe. Sometimes we must talk about the doctrine of the Trinity. It must excite you. Sometimes we must talk about baptism. Sometimes we must talk about the second coming of Christ. You, mu you must be like, yo, Ish, I wish we could have a lot of Bible conferences. You see, you single people. I'm not fighting. Hi, man. Hey. Um, let me finish. Can I cook? <laughs> 
Come and say, let him cook. I used to sleep listening to Kenneth Hagin. Now you have to worry about, you know, <laughs> this will wake up my wife. No, uh, you'll be praying loud, but please keep it down. <laughs> but sometimes I'd wake up listening to Bishop Dag, yeah. and people are shouting in the background. You, you see, it's a great opportunity to just listen to sermons, have favorite preachers. But some of you are skipping. You are listening to a piano the whole night. I was not cubs at night, please. <laughs> Listen to the word. I remember this one guy was praying and they forgot that they had left the audio Bible on. And then they stopped praying. The audio Bible spoke. They really thought it was God speaking. <laughs> you must have that type of drama once in a while. In a Bible. <laughs> But it's so funny. You know moments where I've thought like God was speaking to me. I went to switch on the lights. I was like, no. (laughs) But it makes sense. When when Peter saw Jesus walk on water, he thought it was a ghost. He was afraid. And Jesus had to say, don't be afraid. Delight in the love of the Lord. Love the word. Love it a lot. Love preachers. More than you love podcasters. Love preachers more than you love influencers. More than you love DJs. Love old preachers. (laughs) You see, I love preachers that died long time ago. Those ones, they can't get scandals anymore. I can enjoy them in peace. (laughs) That's true. Smith Wigglesworth can't mess up. <laughs> Catherine Coleman sermons. Sometimes even practice talking like her. I feel the anointing. You know, you just. <laughs> Bazarwan, can I, can I say this to you? Yeah. When you get serious with the Lord. You'll come this close to looking like you're called to full-time ministry. Even though you're not. We must actually stop you from going to full-time ministry. Because you love church so much. Yeah, you must love church. Like, hey, this person attends all three services. What's going on? Hey, does he not have life? No, this is life. <laughs> I talk about days where I would go to, I would come from Cape Town, and there would be a conference at Change Bible Church. Didn't have transport. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I'd come through. I would attend that conference. Yeah. And I remember, man, I used to go through the most, the scariest part of Johannesburg. Yeah. You see there where there's like universal church. Yeah. <laughs> there, the para population is... I used to walk in the middle of the road. I'm like, if they get me, they will get me walking on the narrow road. Amen. I would go. I don't know how I'm getting back. But at least I was going to hear Dr. Eva Siobi. I was going to hear Dr. Fred Price or one of those. I wanted to listen to preachers. I delighted in the law of the Lord. You must delight in the word. Okay, let's look at this one. In the law of the law, you what? What does it say? And then? And in his law doth he meditate day and night. I was thinking about what does meditate mean? Yamana, last week, Usitla gave a powerful offering word, ne? And he used the word that I liked so much. He said it's to marinate. He was marinating himself in a particular word. So, 
So meditation is marination. Is the word like I think I might have come with something. Yeah, but but we must start things. Amen. We must start to apostles. <laughs> he, he was marinating, but but then I thought about it. I was like, okay, okay, okay. What does meditation look like? Who here can say if they want someone to worry? And they needed someone to send to the Wari Olympics. I'm here. Raise your hand. <laughs> like, like I, Barcelona, I mean, I think the Lord is helping me. I could imagine the worst situation you can think of. There, there are people, even if you put them in a positive world, they would still find negative to think about. There are some people who don't even need to leave their room to, to find something bad. They can think themselves sad. They can replay things. They can think about them so deeply. They can have monologues with people and cut them off. <laughs> because they said this when I was thinking. How dare they say that? In, in other words, there, there's, a, there's a use of your imagination there. Do you allow yourself to be lost in the word? Like to think about a scripture until a scripture grabs a hold of you. You know, for me, it's like Isaiah 54 verse 17. That thing, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I've thought about that verse I don't know how many times. Once upon a time, I, th I used to stop at no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And I realized, no man, there's another part that says, and any tongue that rises against you in judgment, okay, okay, you shall condemn. Not even God himself will condemn. You. But I had to think deeply. Deeply. I had to allow a scripture to terrorize me. You see, like for instance, as brothers, you go and like every picture of a sister, you, <laughs> you, you go and look and see if there's another picture that's been added, all that type of jazz. Do that with the scripture. Go into different versions. Who has read Psalms 23 in the Passion Translation? Oh. Like I've read Psalms 23 too many times. No, read it in the Passion. Okay, have you, have, you, have you read it in the Young Literal Translation? Have you read it in the Message Bible? Hey, hey, have you terrorized yourself? Have you allowed a scripture to grab you? There was a day where I was feeling so worried. But this series is about Psalms, whom shall I fear? Hey, that scripture haunted me. And I won't lie to you, I felt the urge to really worry. I was in the mood for worry. That day, I was going to spend the whole day worrying. I had budgeted the day. This day, we are worrying. I don't want to be disturbed. And if someone calls, I'll say I was praying. But actually, I am worrying about this thing. Let scripture do that to you. Who here says that? Uh, I'm a bit too obsessive about things. Be obsessed with scripture. Let's take it home. Next verse. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water mm -hmm. that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. He will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in his season. He shall be like a leaf. And, and we need to see this. It doesn't say he is a tree planted by rivers of water. It says he is like. In other words, this is not necessarily his current reality. But because of his obsession with scripture, it's as if you were. Okay, okay. He, he 
He doesn't have a favorable and a conducive environment for him to produce. But because he has managed to obsess with the word, it's as if In other words, you would look at him and say he's planted by the rivers of wood, but actually he's not. It's as if he is. Because of what he is thinking about. Isaiah 26 verse 3. Isaiah 26. Isaiah 26 3. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace uh -huh. whose mind is stayed on whose thee. Whose what? Mind. Whose what? Mind. Whose what? Mind. Pastor Luana, there's what we call a mindset. A mindset is basically set your mind. So, so, the Bible says, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind. But you said we have the mind of Christ. Yes. Don't just have the mind of Christ. Be Christ-minded. And, and when we, we are Christ-minded, it comes from a place of being intentional about how we think. Okay, let's hold on to the scripture. Let's go to Isaiah, no, to Philippians 4. Philippians 4. We'll come back to this other scripture. Six. Be careful for nothing. Yes. But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, mm -hmm. let your requests be made known unto God. Who can say we do this? Like I do it, right? That you do it. Verse 7. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And then let's look at finally, verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things, whatsoever things are true, uh -huh. whatsoever things are honest, yes. whatsoever things are just, uh -huh. whatsoever things are pure, yes. whatsoever things are lovely, Come on. whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, do what? Think on these things. Think on these things. Let's go back to Isaiah 26. Verse 3 again. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace. How is he kept in perfect peace? Whose mind? 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 Not whose circumstances. Whose mind is stayed on thee? Because, because what? Because it trusteth in thee. So a person who trusteth in him keeps in mind on him and he is kept in perfect peace. Alright? Let's look at the man who trusts in God. Jeremiah 17 verse 7. Jeremiah 17 verse 7. Jeremiah 17 verse 7. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man. Another version says happy is the man. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord. Uh -huh. And whose hope the Lord is. Yes. For he shall be as a tree. He shall be. He shall be as a tree planted by the waters. And the, that spreadeth out. The roots by the, by the river. The, the same man of Psalms 1. Who meditates on the Lord is no longer meditating on the Lord. Now he trusts in the Lord. Oh. There's growth. It started off by meditation. And after meditation, there's trust. Uh, uh, 
I know my redeemer lives. I know my redeemer lives. I, I know my, my, my redeemer lives. Let's go back to Psalms 1. Let's go back to Psalms 1. Shekha Baha Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the... Let's go to verse 3. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth fruit. In what? In what? But now I need us to catch the next verse. No, no, no. Let's go back. Sorry. Same line. But I need us the next line. His what? Shall not. And whatsoever I do is prosperous. Oh God, I feel like this. I, I, I was preaching about this in the morning. I, Lord, help me to preach this. There, you know, there's a season for fruit bearing. But, but how do I look before I bear fruit? Uh, how, how do I look when I'm between glories? When, when I'm between promise and provision? Do, do I look like what I'm going through? Do, do I look like what I don't have? No, no, no. His leaves will not wither. Well, when you see me not withering, it's not because I'm faking it. It's because I've been meditating on the law of the Lord. And, and, and now I'm, I'm having reactions as one who's already living in promise. But I'm not yet living in promise. Hey, do you already have that child you're trusting God for? We, we don't, but we meditated on the word. And upon meditating, I can celebrate in advance. I can see it. I can thank God. Why? Because I've been thinking. I've been thinking. I've been thinking. I've been obsessive over a scripture. And that scripture one day will become flesh and will dwell amongst us. And will behold its glory. You're right. I'm not where I used to be. Oh, no, I'm not where I want to be. But I'm in between glories. I'm in between seed time and harvest. I'm in between my next breakthrough. Hey, now you look at me and say, has it happened? It has not yet happened. But I've thought about the word. And because I've thought about the word, I can give him glory. It's as if, it's as if, it's as if, I'm not faking it till I make it, I'm faithing it. It's not a make-believe. There is a concentration and a saturation that can happen in the world. Where even before the child manifests, God will say you are Abraham a father of nations even though you don't even have a son let's sell up come on just begin to pray in the spirit Come on, come on, pressing on it, 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 pressing, pressing from meditation to manifestation, from meditation to manifestation, from meditation to manifestation. It's happening, it's happening. Whatsoever he doeth prospers, whatsoever he doeth will prosper. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, 
la mahando rororo usada yekebe dola re bahata dada let the word let the word simmer in you let the word simmer in your heart let the word simmer in your mind let the word simmer in your mind let the word simmer in your spirit let the word simmer in your body let the word let the word take root she take up atalari she take up atalara ha